Thousands of women who've been underpaid in their state pensions are challenging the government as they won't be fully repaid. Around 200,000 women are owed £2.7 billion and those affected are being traced. But some women fear they'll never receive the full amount they're owed. Here's our business correspondent, Sarah Corker. Well, 11 years before she went into care, she could have done quite a few other things. I think it's really poor. I think you shouldn't have to fight for what's rightfully yours. For two decades, Rosemary Chattel was underpaid her state pension. It was her son, John, who first realised something was wrong. On the fourth time of asking, the Department for Work and Pensions agreed to investigate, and the scale of the error came as a shock. She came back to me about another day later and said it was £107,852, which is an amazing amount. And that's because she was never given a proportion of the old man's pension when he died 20 years ago. What was your reaction when you heard just how much your mum had been underpaid for 20 years? It's just astonishing, isn't it? I mean, it's just my first, first thought was for her, the other things perhaps she could have done anyway in her life, she had the extra money in, in her pension uh, to live off, but also other people out there who must be also in the same position who may not know they're owed all this money. And there are many others affected by this. Women phoned the Department for Work and Pensions, suspecting their payments were too low. Some were receiving just £1 a week, but they were repeatedly told the amounts they were getting were correct. But they weren't. And for decades, an estimated 200,000 women were underpaid their state pensions. Well, this is the astonishing thing. It's been going on for years and nobody knew. We still haven't had an explanation for what went wrong. I, I don't think anybody yet knows why this automatic system didn't notify the women and give them the pension that they were due. And that in itself is quite shocking. Some women will now be fully repaid automatically, but others won't. But this has been going on for a long time. I just hadn't realised. A rule change in 2008 means Angela from Cumbria will only be able to backdate payments for 12 months. She believes she's owed 14 years of enhanced pension and will miss out on tens of thousands of pounds. It seems very unfair, very unfair. If I have to accept it, I suppose I would but it just doesn't seem right when so much time has been lost and so much money has been lost in the interim. It would make all the difference in the world. The government says it's contacting those affected and correcting historic underpayments running into billions. But that doesn't include women impacted by the 2008 law change. The DWP said it wrote to them at the time about applying for an increase, but those the BBC has spoken to say they received no such letter. And for others, it's come too late. Rosemary has dementia and is in a care home in Cheshire. She'll never know about this life-changing amount of money. Sarah Corker, BBC News.